Okay, we're taking a break from pap smears now and looking at some real tissue. On the bottom, we have some real tissue. In fact, it's also real normal tissue. You can see that there is a nice strip of uh, squamous epithelium in the ecto cervix in which you have good maturation from the basal layer to the thin superficial squamous layer. Also notice there's a fairly abrupt transition right here and before you start getting into the columnar epithelium. Also note there's scattering of inflammatory cells. This is so common that just to see uh, scattered lymphocytes out here, uh, you would never really want to call it uh, inflammation. It, it's so common. You never see it where there's no inflammatory cells. Notice how these columnar cells are nice. Notice that uh, there seems to be a nice line of demarcation here from the squamous side to the columnar side. And when you go along the columnar side, you don't see little nests of uh, squamous metaplasia either. Uh, let's look at the upper lesion because we have a problem here, Houston. Sure, you can see that we have a little strip of squamous uh, mucosa in which you can, even though there's no stroma underneath, perhaps here there is, you can see good maturation from these little uh, tall soldiers, the columnar cells at the bottom, going out to these flat guys here at the top. Notice also, however, that within the stroma, you have nests of cells completely surrounded by stroma. This is infiltrating squamous cell carcinoma. Notice that it looks squamous. In addition, if you were to look higher, uh, like here, you might be able to see it. You could see that these are absolutely squamous cells because you could see in these little slit-like spaces like here and here and here, you can see these little ladders or intracellular bridges. So you know these are squamous cells. You know they don't look terribly bizarre by way of pleomorphism, but you know that they're completely infiltrated by fibrous tissue. So this is not squamous metaplasia. This is infiltrating squamous cell carcinoma. And this is a cervix biopsy. Thank you very much.